I'm Suzanne with The Crafty Cask, and at The Crafty Cask, we do a lot of storytelling. That's what we do. We tell stories about craft alcohol producers to help educate and entertain, but also to help introduce all of you to great new finds and support the craft alcohol industry as a whole. So as the founder, I wanted to tell you my own little story about why storytelling is so important to me personally, with the help of some delicious wine, of course. So early on, when I first started exploring Napa Valley and wine country and kind of figuring out my love of wine, I stumbled across this winery called Frog's Leap, which I still enjoy quite a bit today. But the interesting thing was, it wasn't necessarily about the juice in the glass. And I find that it rarely is. Now don't get me wrong, we all have a certain standard of quality. So of course it has to be good, maybe even great depending on what we're looking for. But that's actually not why I tell so many people about Frog Sleep. That's not why I continually go back to Frog Sleep every time I'm in wine country, even though I've been there a million times. That's not why I bring my family and friends to Frog Sleep whenever they're in town. It's about their story and the impression that their story made on me. And so years ago, gosh, probably like 12 years ago now, I stumbled upon Frog's Leap and I walked in and it's this beautiful farmhouse, white farmhouse, wraparound porch, the kind of place that you just want to squat and stay and tell them like, I'm never leaving. Sorry, I live here now. Beautiful fireplace, a cat roaming around and snuggling up against you. I mean, just gorgeous. But then they bring you out to their wraparound porch and they sit you down for your tasting with incredible views of the vineyards and mountains and their own incredible property. And if you're a little chilly, they have blankets for you. Yes, of course they have heat lamps too, but it's even better to be wrapped in this comfortable artisan Napa style blanket. And then they come around with a basket of their current wines and ask you if you know the Frog's Leap story. And even though I've been there a bajillion times now, I always say, I know the story, but would you mind telling my friends? Because while some places you go and they tell you their whole rigmarole and you're a little bored and you're kind of like, can I just have the information about the wine and then talk to my friends, please? We've all been there. I get it. At Frog's Leap, this is where they really get you, their story. And it's not just about the wine. It's about their way of life, that they have this amazing organic communal farm on their property that all of their employees get to pick produce from and bring home to eat for themselves. It's their great little chicken coop and the fact that you can take your glass of wine and go walk around and hang out with the chickens while you stroll their expansive gardens. And then it does get to the grapes. And here it's again, all about the way that they farm, their philosophy, their belief that terroir is important. And that means that the land is important. And you don't see that as much in the United States. But what this means is that because terroir is important to them and they truly believe it impacts the quality of their wine, they dry farm. So they don't irrigate. And when we're in the middle of a drought here in California, no water is flowing to their vines. And while that may seem a little crazy, when you think about what terroir means, the taste of the land, it means that you want those vines to really struggle and soak in the unique characteristics of the soil that they're grown in. You want those vines to go deep down into the soil to get that taste of place, to get that sense of land. And if there's a drought, those vines are going to have to go even deeper and work really hard. They're going to have to go deep down just to find the groundwater. It's just this sense that everything they do at Frog's Leap, they do with intent and care. It's about how every piece of their story ties together into this beautiful philosophy and this communal feeling that makes you feel like you belong. And for years and years, I drank a ton of their wine. I still do. Their wine is incredible. But as my wine club memberships grew, and as I started to get to know my palate a little better, I finally got to the point where I had to ask myself, gosh, is it their wine that I love and that I'm craving? Or is it their story that I love? Because let's be honest, there is a lot of great wine in Napa Valley. Frog's Lake is certainly one of them. But would I wax poetic and tell everyone about them and send all of my friends there and always look out for them on menus if it was only about the wine? Probably not. I can think of a hundred great wines I've had only once and never sought out again. Because for me, 
as much as I love their wine, it's really more about the story and sharing the experience with my friends and family and helping others what I feel when I go there, right? And that, in a nutshell, is why storytelling is so important to me. And that's why, with The Crafty Cast, we want to bring as many stories to you as we possibly can, and we want to introduce you to amazing winemakers and distillers and brewers and help you get to know them before you even meet them or taste their product. So that when you are visiting and you are in their area, you can't wait to go there because you already feel a connection and you already feel a sense of belonging. Because as much as we all love, love the juice in the glass, I very rarely find myself talking specifically and only about the juice in the glass. It's usually the story of the makers or place or process and what they had to go through and what they're willing to do to make the amazing juice in the glass that makes me want to drink it, tell everyone, and go back time and time again. So that is a little introduction to the Crafty Cask and our philosophy. If you follow us here on YouTube, the YouTube channel, or sign up for our mailing list at thecraftycask.com, you will definitely get a chance to hear a lot more stories with many of them actually being on site, behind the scenes, with exclusive access to the winemakers, distillers, and brewers. And of course, you'll get to hear lots of my little homespun videos on some of my favorite finds and craft alcohol adventures as well. So I hope you join us. And until then, drink craft and drink local. Cheers.